Hi everyone, my name is Rashil Anwar and welcome back to Computer Education Pakistan. Today, our subject is English Grade 7 based on National Curriculum 2022. We're going to start the Part B of the Chapter Number 2, Nature. A visit to Hevra Mines, a salt wonder for tourists. So let's begin. Nature and natural resources always fascinate me. Nature means fitrat and natural resources means kudrati vasail. Fascinate means mohlina. Last week, my family and I planned a trip to the Hevra mines. Trip means safar. It was a pleasant morning in March. Pleasant morning means Khushgawar Subha. I was so exci- excited that I could hardly sleep at night. At 6.30 a.m. we started our journey from Islamabad. The Khevra salt mines are situated on the right bank of the Chelem River. This site was developed by a British mining engineer, Dr. H. Worth. It was almost 11.30 a.m. when we reached there. The weather was clear and the sun was shining brightly. I was so fascinated to stand in front of the world's second largest salt mines. On entering the mines, I saw a spectacular view in front of me. Entering means Dakhli. And spectacular view means Dilkash Nizara. It seemed I have entered into a beautiful phenomenon covered in salt. Beautiful phenomenon means Khubsurat Muajizati. I always wanted to ride a mining train and my wish came true here. Mining train means Khan Kuni. The electric train that runs from the entrance of the mine to the main hall is said to be from the 1930s when mining first began at Hevra. Electric train means Bijli Ka train. It is in perfect working condition and a per person ticket is charged to travel. The train ride took us to the assembly hall where more wonders were waiting for us. The beautiful Bashahi Masjid is built well within the central chamber. Central chamber means the Myani chamber and is entirely made of rock salt with salt bricks varying colors. I thought that the mosque was grand, but the next few sites impressed me more. Mosque means Masjid. Khevra Mines is also home to miniature replicas of famous monuments built and engraved entirely from rock salt. Among these are the Great Wall of China, as well as Minari Pakistan, the Shimla Hill of Laho, and the Mall of Mari. Each of these monuments has also been lit up brilliantly to increase the beauty of multicolored salt. My amazement did not end here. There were more to come. I had never heard about a salt fountain. Salt fountain means namak ka fawara. Although there was no salt flowing out of the fountain, the natural shape this salt formation has taken over the years makes it look like a flowing water fountain. The salt bridge was one of my favorites also known as Pul Sarat. This is a narrow 25 foot long bridge built over a 100 foot deep pond of salt water. What's unique about this bridge is that it is made completely of salt and uses no columns or pillars for support. Lastly, we saw the beautiful Shish Mahal. A tunnel within the mines is known as the Palace of Mirrors or Shish Mahal. Not because it contains the monument of a place, but because the salt roof of the tunnel shines like mirror. The tunnel can be explored as part of the guided tour. I was truly amazed at the beauty of nature. Never did I imagine salt to be so beautiful and colorful.
It turned out to be a memorable day as we had fun and knowledge at the same time. The structure of the Khaira Mines is quite stable and offers a chance to explore a different world underground. So pack for a day trip to explore the wonders of this tourist destination to your heart's content. Do not forget to bring a salt lamp as a souvenir. They not only have healing properties, but also make great gifts for loved ones. Thank you for watching everyone. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Computer Education Pakistan. Like this video if you enjoyed. Press the bell icon to get our latest notifications. Bye. See you in the next video.